So we're going to start. We've we've varied the agenda, and we'd like to uh, welcome to City Hall uh, the uh, Valley Park uh, Middle School students who are going to do a presentation uh, for us. I'll let them uh, introduce uh, their idea, their concept, and their and their product, uh, and then maybe we'll have questions afterwards. You can sit down. Yeah, you can be able to see this Lego thing running around. Yeah. It's sort of hidden. Go for it. Go for it. We should have put a little table. I think we should have put a little table in the middle. I have trees in my pocket. It's only Right. Okay, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No way, you got right now. Whenever, whenever you're ready, we're all set there. I hope the microphones are on, and you can present your idea and then show us how it works. Good morning, everyone. We are the Valley Park Bot. In front of you, you'll find a sheet of paper that will explain our project. For our project presentation, we'd like to tell you about our PAHO control system and how it could save the city of Toronto about $1 million per year. The city spends about $5 million per year fixing about 200,000 potholes. Our system will provide a better way to find the potholes, will decide which potholes to fix, and will schedule the repairs. Today, the city um, relies on people calling 311 to report a pothole. A city employee answers the phone call and enters a location and description into a computer. This is costly and assumes that people will actually take the trouble to call 311. We propose adding a small electronic device to all police cars and city vehicles, which will detect big potholes and, set and automatically send the GPS location and severity of the bump to the city computer server. This will be much more effective than 311 phone calls and manual data entries. The pothole detecting device will consist of a small computer like an Arduino, a gyro sensor, a GPS receiver, and a cell phone transmitter. It would be about the size of a deck of cards and would get power from the car battery. Bumps in the road will be logged with date, time, GPS location, and bump severity. At the end of each day, the device will send a summary of the worst potholes to the city. Our device would cost $40 each with a $75 installation cost. To equip 5,000 police and city vehicles, total investment would be about $500,000. Every night, the city will receive information about thousands of potholes. The city computers will send these by GPS locations to count how many times each pothole was hit. It will then be sorted by severity to discover the worst potholes. Only the worst potholes that have been hit the most often will be scheduled for repair. They will be organized into repair areas as well. Each repair area of the city will have a set of potholes to repair. The city computer will be able to estimate the travel time between potholes, between each pothole by using GPS data. The computer will then be able to estimate, optimize the travel time between potholes so that the most potholes may be fixed in a day. This automatically created repair schedule should save many hours of supervision time and will increase the number of potholes fixed by reducing travel time and unnecessary repairs. Every day, the City of Toronto will send thousands of bump locations to the nearest maintenance yard. The City computers will sort, will sort the data by location and severity of the pothole, and which maintenance yard the data should be sent to. Now, the City will know where the most, the most severe and most often hit potholes are. Our pothole control system will benefit the City by 
One, automatically collecting the data instead of hoping that citizens phone 311 and save time for the data to be manually entered. Two, automatically sorting the data so that only severe and frequently encountered potholes are considered for repair. Three, optimizing the repair scheduling to reduce supervision time and travel time between repair locations. If these benefit the city by 20%, that will turn into $1 million per year. We developed a mock-up car with a pothole detection device using a simple Mindstorms robot and a gyro sensor. The robot, will tra the robot travels in a straight line for three meters and stores the distance traveled and gyro sensor data. After collecting the data, we import the data and the, we import the distance and gyro numbers into an Excel spreadsheet and display the bump data on a graph. So th this is the data after we import. Okay. Um, question for the deputants, uh, Councillor Layton. Yeah, thank you very much. This is a, a very interesting idea, and and I'm wondering just how how the computer calculates the severity of it. Um, have you factored in how fast the car is moving uh, when it hits a, a a bump? You know, when you're when you're driving in a car and you're you're going really slow, the bump may have a certain level of severity. Uh, but if you're going really fast, it may be it may be different. Kind of like speed bumps. The whole purpose. Hey, I hope so. <laughs> well, for um, the speed bumps, we would have a GPS receiver, so all the GPS locations would be of the speed bumps um, stored. So we would filter out that data, so we wouldn't need those speed bumps trying to confuse us with the potholes. So those that will be filtered, and we'll be left with. Um, just these this data, so you can see how deep the pothole is, or how big it is, and how severe it would be. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions for the presenters? So you're do, you're in a competition, yes? yes? You want? Did you win one competition first? Yes. What, comp, what competition did you win first? Excuse first, me. First, first Lego League. So and you're going to another another competition? Yeah, yes. provincial yes. championships in Oshawa. Oh, okay. Very good. And um, you're available to meet with our city staff if they want to purchase this technology from you? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Excellent. And um, I just want to comment. I think it's great. There are no boys on your team. Yeah. No. <laughs> we are a girls-only team. Oh, girls only team. Excellent. Very good. And so I, I, I'm, I'm just curious, um, you, how, how did you pick this problem to solve? Because potholes, like for us, we deal with this, especially in the springtime. It's a big issue for us. But how did you come to pick this um, problem to solve? So um, we obviously wouldn't know the damage potholes could cause because we don't drive, but we know that it's a big issue. When we were asked to consider a real big issue that's happening in cities, first thing we thought was maybe potholes because the amount of damage, the amount of money you have to pay for that damage that can cause to your car is a lot. And so we thought even this um, 311 system isn't very effective because you would get um, opinions about the pothole. So let's say if the pothole is fairly small, but someone would exaggerate it to be a really severe pothole, so you wouldn't get accurate data as you would if you were using this system. So you think that our roads are in pretty bad shape and they need some improvement? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Okay. Oh, any other? Oh, here we go. Is this? Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. We'll give this to the clerk. We'll circulate it. Uh, any other questions for the presenters? Oops. No? Anyway, um, oh, uh, Councilor Perusa. Um, really quickly. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for helping us think about something that 
traditionally isn't very sexy to think about, but it's a real uh, big problem uh, uh, for many of us. And, uh, and, um, and thank you for, for thinking about how we might be able to, uh, in a more efficient way, uh, figure out where those potholes uh, uh, are. So we have two problems, right? You, you've thought about one of the one one uh, side of that of that problem. That's where are the potholes? How big are they? Uh, how deep are they? How damaging um, uh, they they might be? So how do we uh, figure out where those are uh, uh, more quickly? The other side of the the problem is actually having the resources to fill them in. Like we only have like, I don't know, 21 or 24 hot boxes. Uh, that's like these things that contain asphalt. So there's only, uh, you know, 21 of these vehicles or, or at, 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 at sort of, you know, when we do our blitzes, the maximum you're gonna have out there is 21 of these boxes with asphalt. So you can only do so many a day. So if you're getting 500,000 potholes or, 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 you know, a million potholes, I don't know what the number is, uh, you can only like fill a small like um, portion of them. So we, we, you need to help us think about that as well, okay? So not only do we need to figure out how to identify them, but then we need to figure out how to actually deal with them and fix them, right? So since we have limited resources, I think uh, we thought it would be better if we would use those resources on the potholes that are most severe. So even if, if we're filling those small ones that aren't causing that much damage to cars and aren't frequently hit, then there is no point in um, filling them and wasting our resources. So maybe we should try to use our resources for the most severe ones, the most important ones that we should take care of. That's very good advice. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councillor Perez. Any other questions for the presenters? Uh, on behalf of the committee, I would like to thank you uh, very much for coming down to City Hall, uh, for your presentation, uh, for your creativity and ingenuity. Uh, you're to be commended. It's obviously a reflection of, uh, of the school you go to, the leadership of the school, and of course, uh, the parents that you have. So congratulations uh, on a wonderful idea. I think we're gonna have our city staff take a closer look at it, and I really appreciate you coming down. Uh, we'd be happy to do a, a group uh, group photo uh, with committee members um, and your team, if you're willing, and we can do that right now. Yeah, so I, I need a, a motion to receive the item. Deputy Mayor Minna Wong, all those in favor? Opposed, that is carried. And uh, in just a couple of minutes, we will go to the um, pause presentation, another school group. Thanks very much. Yeah, take care. All the best.